White House officials are practically falling over themselves to deny they had anything to do with an anonymous New York Times opinion piece that suggested there was an internal resistance to President Trump. For more on this and other news from around the world, let's turn to our Noah Adam. So, Adam, uh, quite clearly, the White House is furious about this op ed, but there is a great deal of speculation as to who may be behind it. That's why, Mark, a wild guessing game has kicked off in Washington after the opinion piece was published on Wednesday. All we know is that the writer is said to be a senior Trump administration official, so that is someone who has substantial knowledge of the ins and outs of the West Wing. Many White House officials were quick to disavow the piece on Thursday, including Vice President Mike Pence, Defense Secretary James Mattis, and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. I find the media's uh, efforts in this regard to undermine this administration incredibly disturbing. And, and I, I'll answer your other question directly because I know someone will say, gosh, you didn't answer the question. It's not mine. The op-ed slammed Trump's leadership style and called some of his decisions, quote, half-baked, ill-informed and occasionally reckless. He added, it added there was a quiet resistance from within the administration to stifle the U.S. president's agenda. This is what President Trump had to say soon after the op-ed was published. So if the failing New York Times has an anonymous editorial, can you believe it? Anonymous, meaning gutless, a gutless editorial. Uh, we're doing a great job. The poll numbers are through the roof. Our poll numbers are great. And guess what? Nobody is going to come close to beating me in 2020. His comments were followed by a series of tweets expressing similar sentiment and even suggesting treason.